Hey guys, and welcome to the Slide Deck 2 tutorial series. My name is Jason, and I'll be guiding you through some of the uh, new features that we've added into the, the plugin, uh, and I'll also give you a walkthrough so you can see exactly how it works. So, first of all, I'm going to install Slide Deck to my WordPress installation. You can see we're here, here on the clean dashboard screen. Uh, so, just like many other plugins, all you have to do is just head over to the plugin screen, hit Add New. And then because you're not downloading Slide Deck 2 from the plugin repository, you'll want to select Upload. So we can upload the zip file of the plugin that you downloaded after you purchased. So uh, let's navigate to wherever we kept the file. I've, I've put it on my desktop just for ease of use. And we will upload that file and install it. It's exciting. So here you can see it's thinking about it, it's installing, and a successful installation. Awesome. So now all you have to do is activate the plugin and Slide Deck 2 will be installed on our WordPress installation. Yep, there it is. You can see it right there. So if you're seeing the Manage screen right now, that means that you've successfully installed Slide Deck 2 on your site. So that's great. There's one important thing you need to remember though, and that is to install any of your add-ons that you have. Add-ons are basically mini plugins that uh, sit on top of Slide Deck and give you additional functionality. So you professional and developer tier users, you'll, you'll have add-ons available waiting for you. If you're a personal user, you'll be good to go just as you are right now. So let's head over to the add-on screen and see what there is to see. Okay, so you can see that we're given the option to install uh, both the Slide Deck 2 Professional and Slide Deck 2 Developer add-ons. So I'm just going to go ahead and install the Developer add-on as it basically gives me all of the functionality of all three tiers. Uh, and it's super quick. Uh, head back to Slide Deck 2 and you can see now that we have all of our uh, add-ons, available add-ons installed. So now when I go to the Manage screen, I will be able to see all of my options. So where before the custom content area was grayed out, uh, you can see it's now fully vibrantly colored. We've also got the HTML uh, ability as well, which is exclusive to the developer tier. There are basically three parts to every slide deck. There's your deck type, so you can see we have custom content and dynamic source types. There's your content source, which is where you're getting your content from. And then there's the lens, which controls how your content is represented on the page. The custom content type lets you build up your slide deck one slide at a time. You can upload images, enter text, add a video link, or even just embed your own HTML into it. Dynamic Source Slide Decks let you pull in content from around the web. Uh, it supports a lot of different content sources, so you can pull from YouTube, for example, or maybe uh, posts from an RSS feed, or even your own tweets. It's great if you want to create an awesome looking slider quickly from content that you know you've already posted elsewhere. First, let's hop into the Dynamic Source Editor to take a look around. So this is the dynamic source slide deck editor. You can see up at the top that we are able to add additional sources of content to the slide deck and have them show up inside the live preview. Lower down on the page, you can, you can see that we give you the opportunity to choose from one of seven different lenses that actually control the way that your content looks and feels. I think I'll go for a fashion lens. There, that looks better. Using the options panel, you can also control how your lens behaves as well as configure the way that your content is represented on the page. Simple, right? So now let's head back to the manage screen and take a look at the custom content slide deck. Here you can see we have a kind of similar editor screen, but there are some differences. So first of all, instead of a dynamic content source up here, you have a custom slide. And for that slide, you have the choice between four different content types that you can add to that slide. I could add an image, I could type in some text, I could reference a video from YouTube, Dailymotion, or Vimeo, or I can even paste in my own HTML code. And just like with the dynamic source slide decks, I can adjust the way that my custom slide deck looks on the page using the lenses and the option panel.
So that concludes our tour of Slide Deck 2, but check out the other videos to learn more about creating your slide decks. And of course, you can always find out more information on slidedeck.com. Thanks a lot.